and is now part of the Sus Trans 7 uh, cycle route. Uh, but put a drone up and letting you see it, it's quite, quite a spectacular structure. Drone up and let you see um, some shots of that. It's quite spectacular. It, it was the old railway line um, which uh, fell to the beaching cuts in the 60s and is now part of the Sus Trans 7 uh, cycle route. Uh, but put a drone up and letting you see it. It's quite quite a spectacular structure. Okay, so we're going to leave the Glen uh, Edith Viaduct. Uh, these places actually completely fascinate me because, um, you know, 
there were obviously a, there were a railway track before, and many of these old railway tracks uh, up here have been turned into, quite rightly, cycle routes now. And that's the Sun Sustrans Sevens, which we passed there. But I'm always I'm fascinated by what used to be this way. I mean, that route was the way many people took um, took their journey to. Well, the, the original line was the Calendar to Oban, um, and it went away past here. It went over that viaduct that um, we obviously did the drone shot on. Um, but further up here, um, just before we actually take the turn off to Kalim, there's a place called Lixtold, L-I-X. Now, just past that, there was the Kalim Junction, where I believe the people at Kalim at one stage uh, went and paid for a junction to then take the train from just near the Lixtold into Kalim as such, and that lasted for quite some time until you know, the beaching cuts came along in the 60s when uh, rail travel was all rationalised and routes were cut because they were, uh, they were not uh, paying their way and the car became very popular. So we've regressed back that way, we're now finding that we're, we're building more stations now and we're trying to get rid of the car, but th these things fascinate me, th th this history of, of these old railway, um, railway tracks. And we're just going to take the road off here on the right now, which brings us a couple of miles down the road into Killin, which is our next village, which we pass. see them but um, when the water's certainly up um, it's, it's certainly a sight. Today um, it's not been as uh, as uh, wet so the, the water isn't as high but truly is a spectacular sight if you just look over here. So we're just heading over the bridge now and we're heading into the village of Killin. Well, I've just sent the drone up and this is a, just a drone picture of the, the bridge it takes us. I just came over at uh, the Falls of Dockart. Um, this is the bridge which we came over when we came into Killin. Um So there's the dog cart in there, and just sort of panning round to the right, um, you'll see the falls of dog cart. Um Water isn't so um, heavy today, it's a, sometimes it's a way up where these people are. Okay, we're well, just coming through the village of uh, Killin now. Uh, on the right, a wee restaurant, can't remember its name. <laughs> um, but uh, just coming up here. Um, not very many shops in uh, Killin. A few hotels as such. Uh, a couple of nice places to eat as well. Um, but we'll head through here. Um, village is maybe about, I don't know, it's about half a mile long as we come through. And um, we're going to head out the back of it and then we'll head up to um, the Highland Lodges at Morinish, which is about another three miles um, just through the, the town centre. Um, uh, on the left, on the hardware store there, which has been up for sale for about six months as such. Okay, just heading through. Uh, Killin on the left, the local primary school. Uh, and on the left, uh, a lovely wee place for a tea and coffee called Shutters. 
uh, restaurant. Uh, you can sit out there all fresco on a day like this. Uh, also on the left, the essential for anyone staying here, the co-op uh, for your supplies. And for any, all you outdoor people on the left hand side here, the outdoor centre, a lot of stuff in there. Uh, finally, the McLaren Hall where the Cullen Music Festival is held every year. That's just coming through, Cullen now, we're just heading, uh, heading out. Um, on the left, the Bridge of Lockie Hotel. It's a great wee hotel, we stayed in it a number of times, but it's now changed into self-catering accommodation. And as we go over the bridge now, on the right, Cullen Golf Course, which I am a member of actually. So, heading out now to uh, Mornish. Welcome everyone, we are here at Loch Tay Highland Lodges and we are at the Viking. So without any further ado, let's, um, let's go in and uh, settle ourselves in. So this is the site that greets us, Loch Tay, and this particular part is called Morinish. Right, let me get this thing off, and I'll tell you what our plans are next. Your plugs out. Um, right, okay, so um, we are here now at Loch Tay Highland Lodges at Morinish about three miles north of Killin. Um, we could carry it on the same road which basically uh, hugs the loch for the next 10 miles and takes us into Kenmore which is our next destination. But um, I want to go uh, behind the range of hills behind us. There's about five Munros, five or six Munros uh, just opposite the the main road uh, coming into Loch Tay Highland Lodges. Um, the main one is uh, Ben Lawrence. Um, but if we go up that way, there's also a very large sort of picturesque dam which I'd like to sort of take in and uh, from there we can follow the road round. It will take us to Kenmore, we'll go through uh, places like the Bridge of Balge, um, Fortingall, um, Cambus Farrakhan, um, a number of wee hamlets, so we can pick them up if we go, if we go that way and uh, our end destination is Kenmore. Sorry, I just... Just got to share that view with you. Life doesn't get much better. Living the dream, living the dream. Working for Rowweb, living the dream. But every so often I can get a day off uh, and it allows me to do something like this. And as you can see in the background, Loch Tay. Um, and this is Loch Tay Highland Lodges Estate, which anybody's interesting uh, as part of a, a, a tour in a motorbike or car. Uh, they do have glamping here. So they have little hobbit houses and they also get wigwams and some, uh, you can also hire uh, lodges as well. Lovely restaurant on site as well, so very much recommended if you want to stay here as part of your Heart 200 tour. And I'm not being sponsored.
Okay, so here we are leaving Loch Tay Highland Lodges and uh, we are heading to the Bridge of Algae which is over these hills and uh, the first place we'll hit is the uh, Lawyer's Dam. So, here we go.